Hello, hello, hello. Today we are actually, uh, we're actually in my father's BMW M3. He's got a 2002 BMW M3. And the reason that I'm here is we're actually going to be replacing the rear view mirror, the center one. Right, so the issue with the mirror I guess you can see here it's got like a black line coming down the middle it's a heated mirror but this is very common with this car uh, it happens it goes bad so um, I've ordered the replacement um, uh, for this actually I'm holding up the key this is the key that I had uh, that I had um, replaced uh, the battery on so there's another video on there on, uh, on how I did that and that's that's still working but um, we're going to go ahead and replace this and I've ordered a replacement mirror right now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, remove this uh, I'm going to be using this little tool you can use a screwdriver or actually the best thing would be a plastic uh, trim removal tool to kind of get in between here and uh, and pop these open so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll get back to you all right so the first thing I'm going to do is I've, I've already done it I just took a a tool or a screwdriver you get into the seam and you just twist and this little plastic tab uh, comes open now you want to move the mirror to the right all the way like that and that way this whole piece can come right out um, then from there same thing move it the other way move the mirror the other way and that way you can pop the other one right out and that'll just gives us give us a little bit more access I'm gonna try to see if I can remove uh, this the entire uh, mirror assembly All right, the, ne the next thing we're gonna do is, uh, there's a little button here. You're gonna push that down and you're gonna remove, disconnect this from this clip. So, all right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually unclip this uh, harness. There's a little, there's a button right there. That's where you wanna push down on in order to remove this clip. So you push down and you pull out and that way that's, uh, that's done. Uh, the next thing you're gonna do in order to remove the mirror is you're actually just gonna twist this you're gonna twist this to the right and the whole thing, the whole assembly will come right out. And um, that's what that looks like, you know? So, I mean, you can, I guess, buy this whole assembly. It'll probably be a couple hundred, you know, probably three, $400, I'm guessing, but I'm actually gonna be opening this up and removing the actual mirror. All right, so actually uh, got this uh, in our office. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just uh, stick the tool in these little gaps. Just put it in and twist. thing is to put in and pop up in there. So once you go all the way around, uh, this thing comes up and you can actually remove the glass here carefully. And then you'll have the wiring there. So that comes right out. This is what you're finished, what you end up with is uh, this mirror. Now we're gonna have to solder. If you look here, it's soldered onto these metal pieces. Uh, the new mirror that I purchased also has that. We're gonna have to, I think, uh, this is not, this isn't solder or anything, it's just there. So that'll just be put back on there. So we're gonna be soldering here and we're going to be soldering here all right so you know we've taken this apart now and uh, there's there's my replacement mirror that uh, I put a link in the description I believe I got it from uh, I believe that I got it from eBay uh, so so that's what my replacement mirror looks like that's what the defective mirror looks like. 
All right, so we have the uh, the old mirror. Um, this liquid kind of floats around in there. Uh, so, um, but we're gonna, I guess, keep an eye on the orientation. This is the new mirror. Uh, looks like this one was built in March of 2019, so it's a fairly new mirror. Um, and we're just gonna go ahead and compare the two because they do have these uh, these terminals. If you look at the mirror, there's gonna be a positive and a negative. And if you look at this uh, circuit board, there's a positive and there's a negative. So we wanna make sure that when we put this back that it's put in uh, this way with the positive on the top and the negative on the bottom. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna unsolder uh, these cables here and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so I've let the um, soldering iron uh, heat up a little bit. Um, I got one of these, uh, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I got it set to uh, 392. Um, that's the lowest setting it has. Um, and I'll see if that, it should work, uh, 392. I don't like to put it too hot, but um, we're gonna work with that and that's hopefully gonna let us unsolder this. Now, um, I'm not an expert at this, at soldering, um, but I've done a couple things now and uh, it's pretty pretty simple and pretty self-explanatory. All you wanna do is take the tip of the soldering iron, press it to the, the metal, and it'll eventually start uh, melting it. And what's, you know, you just hold it down. Um, after a while, it will start melting that metal. All right, I'm actually, um, I'm gonna turn this up to, uh, let's try 462. Uh, let's try this. I'm guessing that's probably around 500. So we're going to turn it up to around uh, 500, I'm guessing. I'm going to let it sit for a while, and then we're going to come back to it once it heats up a little bit. All right. Um, I apologize for any noise in the background. I'm actually at work, so I can't control that. But... Um, I've I've, uh, I've turned it up, uh, you know, it definitely feels hotter. So I'm guessing it's probably around 500. And we're just gonna touch it to the solder and we're gonna wait for it to uh, to melt. All right, so I press down, I get put a little bit of pressure on it. It's starting to melt and then it just, uh, let's see, it just released the cable. So, so that's been released. And now we're gonna work on the other side. So we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Just press down on it. So that one took a little bit of work, but uh, we came off. All right, the next step is gonna be removing this, this from the old mirror. And you can see this thing is leaking everywhere. It's that oil or whatever that is that was on there. I'm gonna to try to see I'm, I might be able to reuse I might be able to reuse this uh, the sticky tape so it looks like I'm gonna be able to use reuse the sticky tape all right so we're gonna take uh, the new one keep the we're gonna keep the orientation correct. So, you know, as we talked earlier, the plus is over here, negative's down here, and we're gonna line it up with the plus here and the negative here. So we're gonna to try to place this uh, right on this mirror. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, this looks like everything is pretty, pretty good. I kind of test fitted it on in here and uh, everything looks fine. You just have to make sure this little thing when you're putting it back, goes through this hole here. 
um, that's some kind of a sensor. So you gotta make sure that that lines up and goes through there. Um, so I'm guessing that's for high beams or something. But um, anyways, we're gonna go ahead, um, like we said, we already put the uh, positive to the positive, I mean, positive side. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna solder this uh, onto, onto here. I'm gonna take this plastic off because otherwise that's not gonna work. And uh, I'm gonna get a little bit of solder uh, in order to do this. Let me put some of the solder on here first. All right, so we got it on there. It's just a matter of melting it onto there. But you can see that there. So we just want to tug on this, make sure it's on there really strong. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, go to the other side. It's going to be the same deal. Let me straighten this out a little bit. This is really hot. I might have to bring this down. I'll bring that temperature down some. So we got some solder there. Now we're gonna go ahead and once we got the solder there, we're gonna just melt it right onto this cable. Hopefully you can see that a little bit. Probably the ugliest solder job you'll ever see, but we're learning here. Might not be pretty, but what matters is that there's contact and that it won't come loose. So that's going to be good enough for me. All right, so putting this back, you have this little light. Um, it's either a light or a sensor, I can't tell. But that has to go inside of uh, this hole here. So just keep that in mind. So that's going to go on the bottom. So when you're putting this back into here, you're going to make sure, first of all, that this little sensor here, this black sensor you see here, right there, is going in this hole down here. So first we're gonna plug this back in. Make sure it clicks all the way. It's all the way in. Make sure this bundle board's in place. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make sure that this lines up, that sensor lines up with that hole. And that none of these cables are being pinched. If you look on the back side, oh, that's not, okay, it's in there now. So once it's in there, everything should line up pretty well. Make sure that these cables are underneath, they're not being pinched. And everything looks like it's lining up right now. Okay, so we'll see if we can get this on there and see if that will snap in. These tabs have to go underneath. Everything should start clicking. And that little sensor is right, it's coming right through there. You can see it. So that looks like it's good. All right, so there you have it. Everything's back together. There's not really any scratches on it, you know. Um, everything was clipped in, the harness was clipped in. So we're just gonna put everything back now. 
All right, so we're back in the M3, and um, you know, I saw in the rest of the, in the video, I have the uh, mirror back in, you know, back together. You know, you can see the sensor there. There's another one right in there that you can see. So um, everything looks like it's back in place. Um, I clipped everything back in well with the, with the harness inside um, to the um, to the circuit board, and uh, now it's just a matter of uh, plugging everything back in and uh, putting it back up. The uh, first thing you're going to do um, is you're going to actually, well, I'm going to, you have to put this at an angle so that it goes in. There's a little spot, there's a sweet spot um, where this goes in. So you got to find it. So there it is. It went in there. And from there, it just it just rotates uh, and it stays and it, and it goes in, you know, it locks into place. So again, you find that spot. It's like almost like at a uh, 45 degree angle instead of being uh, up and down 90 degree. And it, it should pop right into place. Um, once it's popped into place, I'm gonna plug this, uh, this cable back. All right, so from here, I'm going to uh, just plug this back in. This just goes, this goes into there. It should snap right in. You'll hear it click. I believe you'll hear it click. Sorry, trying to do this. There you go. So that cl that clicked back in. This goes in. This little rubber grommet goes up top. You know, this or that. You just uh, squeeze it back in there. Uh, so we'll do that. All right. So that's back in there the way it's supposed to be. All right. So once that's in there, we're gonna take our two pieces uh, and. We're gonna put one side in first. Actually, I'm gonna put the other side in first. So you wanna move the mirror to one, tilt it to one side to put uh, to put that in there. Make sure the uh, cable's not getting pinched anywhere. So that's the other thing. And the rubber grommet's gonna go. Actually, this rubber grommet has to go on the inside up here. There's a rubber grommet. Just make sure it goes. The lip goes inside. You see this rubber? That has to go inside of the uh, plastic piece. So we'll go ahead and put the other one up. And then put the two pieces in and just snap them together. And that should be good to go. All right, so that's gonna be it for today. You know, um, I know this is a common problem. It's not a difficult job. It I, honestly, you could probably do this in 15, 20 minutes, if you have everything, you know, ready, the soldering iron, you know, it took some time for the soldering iron to heat up, but the mirror is done, um, looks clean, looks OEM, there's no difference, you can't tell, um, and uh, hopefully it'll, 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 it'll be heating, I think it's an automatic thing, I don't think it's something that, um, there's no, I don't find, I don't see any switches, you know, in the car, in order to turn that function on, but, um, there's no air lights or anything, um, so everything looks like it's uh, good to go. So, anyways, uh, thank you for watching. I hope it, you know, I hope it helps somebody out. Um, if you haven't done so already, then go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and um, if you do do this project, go ahead and just send me a comment. Let me know how it worked for you, and let, let me know if there's anything that I missed or anything that I could improve on, just to share with the community also, so that uh, if something that uh, you know needed to be done that I wasn't done or done properly, um, then uh, you know you can help somebody else out. Uh, the only thing I can remember um, is that um, I, I reused the double stick tape. Um, the mirror didn't come with double stick tape on it. So if you do want to do this project, um, I would have double stick tape handy. Um, I had some there, um, but it just turned out the double stick tape came right up. Um, so I ended up reusing it. But otherwise, you're gonna need double stick tape. You're gonna need that mirror. You're gonna need a soldering iron and you're gonna need uh, a trim removal um, tool. Like I recommend a plastic one. I was using a metal one. The metal one, if you're not careful, you can scratch the plastic. So um, I recommend using a plastic one. Uh, so that's gonna be it. I hope you liked the video and I hope you enjoy a lot of my other videos. Take care.